Hello folks, happy Easter and all that kind of thing. It's a lovely day and in the words of Jive Turkey, springtime is here, it's time to get growing, the plot's all dug now, it's time to start sowing seeds of many kinds and seeds of many colours. I'll see you later my sisters and brothers. But first, I'm going to put the kettle on, going to have a brew, because that's the first thing you should do. Dave at the allotment. Dave, what are you after this afternoon? Hello and welcome to Dave's allotment. Still cracking on at the allotment. Get the kettle on. It's a lovely day. It's Dave at the allotment. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. Right, kettle, boiled, cup, made. Ah, it's Easter, so it's time to start sowing some seeds. I've just been going through what I'll be sowing today there. Uh, quite a few. I'm going to put my peas in, start them off in the gutter in, in the greenhouse, as you do. Um, got a couple of different sorts of peas here. These are Snap Nairobi Pea. And these are the good old favourite, Kelvedon Wonder. So they'll be going into the guttering, like I say. I've got some sweet corn here. This is the sweet corn that I got off um, Dean. The, the giant sweet corn. So I'll be putting them in today, along with a few incredible sweet corn, which I grew last year and was quite good. So they'll be going in also. These are some uh, wild flower seeds. But it's a bit too cold at the minute to put them out, so a couple of more weeks for them. I also have some Ishkura spring onion. I'll be putting them on. Some cherry tomatoes, red cherry. I also want to put some more tumbling toms in because uh, the tomatoes I put in the other week doesn't seem to be happening, so I'm going to try again. Uh, some nicotina, sensation mixed. Some poppies called angel choir. Now they look, they look lovely, them like. I've never seen them before, so I like to give them a try. Some ladybird poppies. And these are new for 2018. Convolvulus. Convolvulus. Flagship mixed. So they look canny in pots. I've got plans. I have plans. Uh, some Asta Yellow Duchess. Some Petunias. Some Red Cabbage called Tinty. Some Cosmos called Candy Stripe. And Sensation. Some poppies, uh, some pansies, and some greyhound cabbage. So that should keep us busy for a while. I've also got some uh, compost, as you know. I'm going to pot on them chrysanthemums and the onions uh, and the cabbages that I got off Dean as well. I've been doing that today. I've also brought over the onions that I started off in the house. Dan's allotment, Dan, uh, allotment diary, Dan's onions. I'll show you them later in the greenhouse. But for now, while I finish my coffee, the prize draw for the 20 packets of seeds was drawn last night. I did it while I was at Paula's. So I got, obviously I got Paula to pick, pick the winner. Uh, so while I finish my coffee, I made a little video, watch that, and I'll, I'll see you in the greenhouse. Cheers! And congratulations to the winner. Right folks, it's time for the draw. I've got someone special to draw the prize. Hey. I haven't got me stupid gardening hat, so I'm going to just have to use me cap. It's Billy Bob trucker cap. Me trucker cap. So without further ado, 
All the entrants are in the hat. Lots of them. There was over about 145. It took some folding, didn't it? Aye, all of this cutting and folding takes time. And right. So. Looks like you're cooking chips in uh -huh. a like in a um, chip pan. Right. Pancakes. Right, anyway. I've got loads of more. Keep going because I have to say which one I want. And your prize will be on its way. David Ward. David Ward. Now I'm going to eat me Easter Bunny. See you later. Bye. Right, just before I show you in the greenhouse, I'll show you the first signs of spring in the northeast. Well, on Dave's allotment. Woohoo! Two uh, daffodils on Annie's little memorial. Look at that. There's Easter Bunny. He's left some Easter eggs for us. Get in. Cheers, mate. I'll have them later with a cuppa. Eh, uh, aye. The daffodils are up. Nice to see. Nice to see, to see you nice. Right, in the greenhouse. I've got some tidying up to do in here before I uh, start sowing some seeds. That tent needs to get out of here. Uh, and the likes. Whoop. But, um there's my potatoes there still chipping away nicely. I've had them covered over with fleece because it has been cold. It is cold still. That beast from the east didn't come to much but it is cold. Uh, there's a couple of my sweet peas have died with a frost I think. And there's uh, some Kelsey onions I started off in the house. I brought them over yesterday. Tiny compared to their uh, everybody else's. These were off um, Peter Edwards, Pete's back garden. There they are. There's my leeks. I've took them cabbages up in the kale because it started to sprout. So they're still nice though. The leaves, I ate them. Mmm, lovely. Eh, uh, aye, these cabbages are going to be potted on today into a mix of, um, well I'll tell you that later. And there's my onions. These are the giant onions from um, Dan. No, I don't know. Nah. I don't know. Nah. I've just brought them over. Like I say, I think they were getting a bit too leggy in the house. So I brought them over. Hopefully they'll start growing a bit, bit thicker than that. But I'll get onto that later. I need, like I say, I need to tidy this place up. All my onions are coming up there nicely. And these are the chrysanthemums that are going to pot on today. My giant onions are up. Uh, my giant sunflowers, sorry. They're the giant, giant ones off da, uh, Dean. There it is. Whoop, there it is. Whoop, there it is. I mean, tomatoes. Look at that. There's one I can see there come up. That's a gardener's delight. Nothing else. In fact, there, I think, is a tiny little sprout. Indigo cherry, but it's the tumbling toms. I'm going to sow some more of them today. That kale, it's doing all right. The kaleettes are coming up now. So is the cabbage. And these are the uh, Peter's onions that I sowed just a few weeks ago. They're up. So enough of this chit chat. It's time for us to crack on and get tidying. Season a bit. Ta. -da! 
Well, that's a bit tidier in here. I've put some shells up for all the seeds that's going to go be planted. Before I do, though, I've noticed a lot of people doing some uh, compost reviews. So I'm going to do one. This is Humax. Humax Original. Now, it's not Humax Professional or anything like that. It's just Humax Original. And uh, it's fantastic stuff. I've used it for years. It does everything. I've, it's all good stuff. I've noticed a lot of people having to sieve compost and uh, you should never have to do that. So I'll just, I'll just open this bag here and you can see, I can see straight away it's just perfect like doesn't, it's just all fine lovely compost There isn't a, a stick or a twig or a bit of plastic or anything in amongst it. Ideal stuff it is. And it even says it on the packet there. It uh, contains, it's blended with silver sand for Im improved drainage and aeration. And honestly it's really good. It's got a product called Nutrimate for nutrition, control and essential trace elements. It is not a twig to be seen. I'll show you, look at this, I've got a bit here in my hand. Lovely. No need to be sieved. Perfect for what you need. Now, what I'll be doing obviously today is uh, potting my seeds on. Uh, also, I'll be potting on these cabbages that I got off Dean. They're starting to get a bit pot bound there. Well, not pot bound, but I don't want them to get pot bound, if you know what I mean. So I'll be potting them on. Now, I will be potting these onions on as well, but I'm just going to leave them here for now, see what happens in there sort of thing um but I, I watched dan's video uh that's who i got these onions off the 10 pounders hopefully that i'll not i'll not get nowhere near 10 pound like but we'll see um anyway i'm drifting i noticed on one of his videos where he was putting on his giant onions that he was using a, a cement mixer to mix his thing now i'm going to do a little mix I've got some vermiculite next door, so I'm going to mix some vermiculite with this compost and then add a little bit of charge to pot these cabbages on. I'm going to give them the best start in life. So I'll get on with that. And all that kind of thing. Ooh, Hubax, I love it, I love it, I love it. Folks, I was that excited about Humax before there, I, I forgot what I was going to show you. I was talking about uh, Dan, and he had a cement mixer to mix his stuff. Well, I, I've never showed you this before. It's a canny little tool. Odd job, the revolutionary mixing system. And it's got grooves in there. So once it's time for me onions to be potted on, I'll be putting the mix in there. And giving it a whoop. Obviously, you've got to tighten the lid. It says it. Line up the arrows. And then you just give it that. Shake it all about. You do the hooky cookie, and it's all about. And then that's supposed to mix up your little uh, mixture there. Of whatever. So I'm going to crack on. Um. Hello there. It's time to start potting on. So, I've got my compost here. I'm going to get these cabbages in. Give it, give it some giant veg to go this year. So I've got some vermiculite from the pound shop. Uh, so I'm going to whack some, some of that in the mix. I know people use perlite, but I, what's the difference? 
There. Right, so I'll add a little bit of vermiculite in there. In fact, it's totally different to perlite, isn't it? I can, I can see the difference. But it's going in anyway. Mix it up. I'll, I'll uh, come back a bit there just in case you cannot see. I'll give it a bit of a mix up. A little bit more in there. I'm probably doing this totally wrong, like, but I don't know. So I mix that up anyway. Looking good. And I'm going to add some of this charge. Now this is supposed to be the stuff, like. So just a little bit, because it's only a little bit. That'll do. This bag here goes into 30 litres of compost, so I'll just put a little bit in, give it a mix up and then I'll start putting these cabbages on here. Now I've just cleaned some terracotta pots, I've got a little bit of broken terracotta pot just to cover the hole. You don't have to fill the bottom with the uh, crockery like, just to cover the holes. Right so I'll put a bit of this in here. get this one. Aye, the roots are just starting to come out the bottom there so I want to get it potted on as quick as I can. Give it its best start in life. Hopefully I'll get a whopper. Aye, the roots are just starting to come out there so can be good. Just firm it down there. Jobs are good. I'll just put that on the tray there for now and get on with the rest. Then I'm going to be putting me peas in the good old guttering. So stay tuned for that. See you in a bit. Uh, text coming in already on 81333. Uh, let's uh, take a look at this one. Um, it's Dave at the allotment. Allotment Dave. Well, I'm here again. I'm going to sow some more seeds. I tell you what, I've just been sitting here filling me trays up and all that. And it's lovely just listening to the birds. There's been a robin in that tree there all afternoon. And there's a wrens, blue tits, all sorts. You cannot beat nature. So I'm just going to crack on here, like I say. Get some seeds sown. I'll start off some flowers in this. And uh, see where we go from there. This, really this is the first year I've grew flowers like properly. Um, I always just concentrate on veg really. Right, so my flowers. I'll start off with, uh, where are they? These convolvulus. Read the old instructions and then Carry on. Shake, shake, shake. Don't want to lose no seeds. 
like I say, I've never really grew flowers like this before, but I got a load of seeds off Marina, thank you very much. So I thought I might as well give them a go. Twelve of them for do for the new. That'll do. Hi, I love this time of year. Everything's starting to warm up. Things are starting to grow. Wildlife is coming to life and all that kind of thing. And I noticed someone's got a cockerel there. I don't know how long that'll last because um, you're not allowed them. Not on this site anyway. You can have chickens but no cockerels. Bought myself some plant labels from the pound shop as well. I've been splashing out. Right, so these are the convolvulus. I think I need a longer, a longer thing. Right, that's them done. I've just got another 20 packets to go. So I'll see you in a bit. Well, so much for the sun. As you can see, it's chucking it down now. I'll just open this door a second. Hailstones and rain. Lovely. So I'll quickly show you what's been happening in the greenhouse today. I've showed you these already, but like I say, there's only one tomorrow to come up out of all of these ones so far. Hopefully there'll be some more. The giant sunflowers, champion, the onions. They've all come up there nice now. These are the rumba, the centurion, and the stiron. So they're doing okay. Like I say, these are the giant onions that I got. I started off in the house. Um, I think they've gone a bit too leggy. I don't know what to do. I'm just going to leave them in these pots for now. See what happens. I think this one's going to be the best one out of the lot. It's getting there like I do now. But I do have a backup, uh, a backup plan, just in case. The temperature, whoop, the lowest has been minus 8. And the highest, 47.8. That is 118 Fahrenheit. The lowest, 30.6 Fahrenheit. And I'll reset that there. At the minute, it's 12.3. So I think I'll be fleecing over everything. Oh, the sun's trying to get out as well. Um, my potatoes are chitting away there. Canny. Kestrel, Picasso, Charlotte, um, Sarpo, Mira. And these were supposed to be pink fur apple. But I think, I don't think they're pink fur apple. They look more like Anya or something like that. But anyway, my onions, my leeks. These have, I don't, I don't know if this is frost damage or it's been getting too hot for them inside here. So I might put them into the, the other greenhouse. See what happens. But this is what I've sowed today. There's the convolvulus and some pansies. Uh, cosmos, candy stripe, asta, petunia. Hey, for 3.99. You only get six seeds or something, so they've just gone in a little pot. Um, red cabbage here. Red cherry tomatoes. Tom Thumb tomatoes. Greyhound cabbage. Some poppies, the angel choir ones, and the ladybird poppies. Just a few in there. Uh, some spring onions in there. And I had these chilies they've been drying out in the in the shed over winter and that so i've i forgot about them actually until me neighbor was talking about it. he's just planted his chilies so i got some of the seeds and i've planted them in here 
see what happens. Now we also give us some some of that Mizuna. I've never heard of it before, so he says, why don't you give it a try? So there you go, I've tried it. There's the sweet corn. Hopefully they'll start springing. I'll get them covered up. There's the, the cabbages are all sitting up nicely. So hopefully I'll get a whopper this year. Um, when it does dry up a bit and uh, warm up a bit, this area here where the fruit was, I'm going to put them um, bird attracting flowers because on the packet it looks like there's a load of uh, like different sunflowers and stuff. So that'll be canny. I was going to show you some things outside but not at the minute like it's pro proper lashing down. I, oh, no, I'm going to have to try and find something to cover or oh, hopefully it'll stop raining soon. So I'll crack on, see you in a bit. Right, it's stopped raining for now, so I'll quickly just show you around what's happening, because things are happening. Me uh, rhubarb, that's that's doing okay. There's some over there, and there's some there. So that's doing champion. Now I've got some under this bin here. Not bad, not bad. So things are looking up. Spring is on its way. There's some uh, flowers there, uh, bluebells. Um, quite late coming up, but that's the weather for you folks. There's some rogue uh, daffodils just about to come up there. Starting to get signs of life. Well, I was. Starting to get signs of life. I think the cold weather might have knocked them up a bit. But onwards and upwards this bit needs to go shortly i'm going to see my mate who's a scrap man he's going to get rid of that so i can get this bed sorted out because things things are here starting to happen now my garlic it's doing okay that week for the first year ever i've, I've never grew being able to grow garlic like that i hope i haven't jinxed myself so i've this afternoon there I gave him a little feed of uh, night row chalk, night row dust stuff. Hopefully it'll be alright. These uh, winter onions are starting to thicken up a bit now. So once the weather gets a bit better, where these boards are, I'm going to put a, a row of carrots all the way down here. Because a uh, carrot fly is put off by the smell of onions so there's a there's a method behind the madness so it's doing all right the other day before it, it started raining again i managed to get this area sorted so this is where my onions are going to go this year right there just needed to dry out so i can crack on the fruit that i transplanted has survived the transplant by the looks of it and it's st just starting to bud there now I don't know about this this is the the honeyberry it is starting to grow like so fingers crossed and the raspberries doing all right ah, it's a uh, quarter seven now still late get in right these these kaolets, next time I'm up, I'm going to, and, and, the, and the soil's dry enough, because I don't know if you can see there, it's just pure clots. I'll get me a little troll, because I don't want to get my hands dirty. I've just washed them. But you can see there, it's just clots. It's no good. Hopefully it'll dry out, like I say. I'll be able to get these out and get my trenches dug for my potatoes. What I'm going to do this year is do the old school method of digging a trench. Trench. And I'm going to double dig the trench this, this year and put a line of that horse manure on the bottom. Then fill back up and then plant from there. Each row. So that should be canny. What else has been happening? Note. The bay 
that's grown canny there like doing all right um hi this greenhouse here i'm going to put me onions down here we made some of the party next door there so this is i'm going to put me onions in here i forgot to bring me gaffer tape to seal all this up properly but that'll be done within the next couple of days and my onions can stay in here until it's ready to plant out because I need some more space in the greenhouse soon uh, I don't know if I showed you my tulips they're starting to come up there canny and these daffodils lovely what else these are um, some sort of uh, daffodil type thing that I got from Hexham Market one year. There's one couple of coming on there. And these are irises. These never stop growing. These, I'll tell you what else never stops growing as well. This artichoke. As you can see, it started growing again. Let's pull that bit off because it's old. But there, look at that man, it just keeps on growing. I'm in two minds well to dig it up actually. So I could do with it. I could do with that bit of land, you know. Anyway, onwards. So this bit here is gonna be where I'm gonna plant the bird attracting flower mix. It's just loads, loads of different sort of uh, sunflowers and what have you. Uh, this tulip here, yeah, daffodil, sorry. Very nice. And uh, there's a couple of, I took a clematis cutting. Look, it's starting to grow. I've got some tulips here in the flower. Flowers in the flower. These tulips are doing okay as well. And what I did here, I had that guitar. Years ago, I tried to get the birds into it, uh, the nest, but what happened was uh, the hole was too big and the magpies would and would go in so I'd stop them from nesting so that's why I've covered it with a half hopefully someone will, something will nest in and that was getting chucked out in a skip obviously an old Christmas decoration but it's got a, like a basket thing there and a little hole I've made a little hole in there so hopefully we'll get something nesting in there this clematis is coming up growing again so I'll give it a bit of a prune I'm just rushing around here folks because uh, the battery's running out on my camera as it always does the honeysuckle looking good everything's looking good i just spin you around right thank you for watching folks thanks for commenting liking and subscribing and all that kind of thing happy easter and a happy uh, april fool's day right i'll see you on the next one thanks again for watching commenting liking and subscribing and uh please share I want some more subscribers. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, congratulations to the winner of the competition and stay tuned for some more competitions coming up. It's all a bit of fun until uh, the nice weather comes. <laughs> okay, folks, thanks again. See you later. Bye now.